So we're off and running then, uh, and uh, Alex Irwin gets all out of sorts. Oh, goodness me, carnage from the get-go in this one then. Underneath the scoreboard bend. So 144, Dan Bullock is, oh, goodness me, we're going to be out seeing anything, Terry. There's uh, 1548, Alex Irwin underway down there. And uh, we'll be able to tell where Alex Irwin is. It might just be that we won't be able to tell where anyone else is. So uh, Bullock it is who leads the way. Then we've got Sam Coop getting back in, 844, Godney. He's uh, in behind now and he's uh, trying his best to feature highly in this one. So the race is on down there and uh, Bullock has hit the front and going very nicely out there. Jason Dodney is uh, sat there in seconds. Oh, stretching behind Paranoid Paul Bowen and uh, Carnage. Down there, well, look at Stretch uh, in the herd, in the limo, going very nicely as he gets on behind 557 once again. So, leading the way is 144, Dan Bullock, going very nicely out there, and in second spot, Jason Dobney. Who's uh, through for third, now comes 230, Deep Ball Shaw, being hustled by 606, Liam Whedon. There's uh, Paul Bowen, uh, being hassled all the time as Dave Vincent cuts across the line. Some 5 7 Callum Gill at the inside. Now Vincent putting the pressure on, getting himself in between Callum. Oh! There we be, Will George getting caught up down there in the Sierra. And there uh, in comes Filmer! Oh! It's an early night for Dean Will George. So Filmer in the back, in the Cortina. On the Sierra, Dobney then chasing 144, Daniel Bullock, any more takers down there? But uh, it could be interesting to see how this one uh, pans out, but uh, you can understand that uh, some of these drivers certainly want to get a race in underneath their belts and uh, in old cars, and they do say rear-wheel drive on Shaw is probably as cool as it gets. 144, Daniel Bullock leads the way. As Sam Coop tries to get himself back in, along with Ben Randall. A good battle now on for second place. As uh, Jason Dominic looks behind, 81, dangerous right, present being out by 8.30 stretch. And 22, Dave Vincent is making good headway out there. So, uh, back towards as he comes, Daniel Bullock going very nicely out at the head of affairs in this one. So on we go, oh, sideways all the way as Paul Bowen uh, catches 5-4-8. Alex Lutin, 8-5, James Ellison, 22, Dave Vincent. Oh, Sam Coop now stranded in the bottom of the straight. But uh, gets himself sorted out down there as Ben Randall and 2-1-2. Chris Barge will get caught up down there. Free to go next time, Mr Sala for 1-4-4. Daniel Bullock, who's going very nicely out of the head of affairs. And... Uh, it's uh, fairly straightforward for him, I believe. Second spot in this one is uh, now between 8-2-1 and uh, 8-30 stretch, who is uh, motoring in the Carlton limo. Absolutely motoring as well, but nobody is as quick as 1-4-4 Daniel Bullock as James Ellis gets himself on opposite down there. Now, who is James Ellis going to be putting for? As, uh, we'll see how this one pans out. He's going to go for... No. I'm not sure whether he was just trying to get himself back in, so uh, who knows? No, he's going to have another go for it. As, uh, we'll see what's going to happen down there, Mr. Sarra. James Ellis once again gets himself turned back on the floor. Rich Davis then uh, sets a good pace. There's 90 Joey Holmes all over the back, 229 Harry Cobb. But uh, the race is on, and uh, Cobby Jr. And uh, being hassled big time by number 90, Joey Holmes Jr., who uh, trying to get rid of him, uh, but it's not working at the moment. But uh, goes around the outside and makes good progress. So, there we go. The next one to have a go is Blake Plants. There's uh, Levi Gray uh, caught up down there by the pit gate. It's Reece Davis who leads away. There's a whole uh, battle going on. Robbie Dillon getting caught out. Aiden Store going all the way around on the outside. And has he made it stick? Has he managed it? Well, he's not done a bad job with it, to be fair to. And uh, good luck. 644 Davis said that fine hard. Oh, Reed on the charge as well. And then we've got uh, 146 Jordan Grapes. Good job, Grapes, Terry. 
So, uh, so oh, goodness me, Carnage down there as Aiden Storr gets to push on. Moment for moment for 8.30 stretch, Lee White. So, uh, Taylor Sauer in between the two uh, drivers at the front of the field. 5.5 five on Jackson from 248. Jamie Barton, look at Stretch going hard at it as well. And Sophie Tiller, in goes Taylor Sauter with the shot on Tiller. And uh, not too much has happened. The pass and that is all. Oh, Bartram goes in on the back. So any more for any more down there as Callum Lacey sits down on opposite as well. So Reed leads it, and then we've got 62 Klein, 40 Stringer Adams from Barry Clow, and then 149 Tom Payne. So Stringer Adams winds. Oh, 62 Klein out, and I don't think uh, Klein will be certainly uh, won't be running to number 40, Jake Stringer Adams, to give him a handshake after that one. Look at that, some hard action in that one. So, 285, Polly Reed leads the way. 149, Tom Payne, up fighting hard. Number 40, Jake Stringer Adams, charging hard out there, 731. Barry Wade on the hook as well. 597, Barry Clow starting to have a go in the uh, first of the red grade drivers, Kevin Shin is on the hunt. So Shinny racing hard out there, 760. Spixy going well, Lower and Avery showing up nicely in this one. For Tom and Filmer now, good battle on for second spot. Paranoid Paul Bowen being a hassle all the time by 757 Callum Gill. Dangerous ride pressing in 821 and don't discount 830 stretch who uh, is absolutely hacking up down here look at this very very quick and it just shows uh, the driving style of 830 stretches 556 Matt Tillo gets wound out down there and it's still Filmer at head of affairs about to be uh, challenged and wound out he is by 557 Paranoid Paul Bowen and now it's all changed as Callum Gill and Bowen come side by side down through once again another lap completed in 757 Callum Gill up the inside he's going to get the drag but now Paranoid Paul Bowen he's going to try his very best around the outside he's got it all to do now as James Ellis in front of him Bowen then uh, will try and have a go Callum Gill out of the bend once again oh hello oh, goodness oh, 